looking for that special Valentine ahead of the holiday, you better move quickly because it's in two days, by the way. <laughs> but you know what? A local matchmaker is ready to help. Yep, Io is here right now in the studio with more. Io. Good morning. Yeah, for many, modern dating means hopping on an app, swiping and messaging. But for others, it may mean working with a matchmaker. We went on a hike. My dog really likes Keith, so that was good. Yeah, yeah, it was a good test. Our third date was emo night okay. at Holocene. That was a lot of fun. This is Keith and Gloria. They met in November. Like, you could just say, like, we met at a coffee shop, because it is true. So if you don't want to get into all of the whole thing, you can just say that. Um, but yeah, you know, people that you know better, like, oh yeah, I did this matchmaking thing. The person who matched them is Autumn the Matchmaker, whose real name is Autumn Bird. This happy couple says that though it may seem old school, it's nice to have someone in your corner when looking for a romantic match. If you're spending a lot of time on the apps and you'd like some of that time back for yourself, you can use Matchmaker to go ahead and just lift all that off your own shoulders. It felt like a great way to be authentic and more intentional about who I was meeting. And so what is matchmaking exactly? It was how people used to meet within smaller communities. There was one person who knew everybody and so they were able to provide love by connecting others together and so I'm doing that on a much grander scale. After screening, Autumn sets up clients on blind coffee dates with very specific instructions. They're 30 to 45 minutes, there's no exchanging phone numbers, and so it takes away all of the things that I was always concerned about being on the apps. Now if the pair end up on a second date, they can exchange numbers from there. While there are many ways to date, Autumn says that working with a matchmaker is a good resource. The key is to be patient. Matchmaking is not as fast as online dating. And then also really providing me with your information, being honest. I ask for feedback after every date. Tell me what you liked or didn't like about that person so that way I can then hone in on what they're looking for. Now, there are a few matchmakers based in the Portland area, including Autumn the Matchmaker. We'll have a link at kptv.com for more. Back to you. I'm intrigued by this because yeah. it is kind of an old-fashioned way of doing things, which, which I think is pretty neat. So how much does something like this cost? So a flat fee of $25 and then $9 per date. So oh, man. if you're it's looking at, at like, you know, dating apps or going to an online service, it's pretty comparable yeah. if you're really, like, trying to get out there. I just love it. It's curated by a human being that talks to yeah. you, I think it's... Uh, and doesn't yeah. just send you pictures of themselves in the bathroom mirror. Yes. <laughs> what, what a plus. That's, that's the second thing. <laughs> Thank you.